Hi guys, welcome to another Laser Mania video. I'm Andrew, your laser guy. And today we're going to talk about some issues that uh, some laser users are having when cutting thick wood. These users are cutting, for example, uh, stand-up signs that they, they're supposed to stand on their own on the tables or something. And unfortunately, they are not. They easily tip over or they just do not stand up at all. So the problem, the problem we found out, it might be on the lens that uh, they are using. So probably this is something that's happening to you as well. Stay with me and we'll find out exactly what the problem is about. As you probably know, a CAM5 laser machine comes standard with a 50 millimeter lens, which is right here. Now, this lens is good to engrave as well as cutting a thin material. Let's say 1 16, 1 8, uh, maybe up to 1 quarter. But what happens if you need to cut half inch or more? In that case, you're going to need a 75 millimeter lens. And the 75 millimeter lens is going to be easily uh, recognized because the pen has a little extension on it. A little extension in between the nozzle and the actual pen. Because it needs 75 millimeters space from where the lens is to the uh, substrate in the bottom. Okay, so uh, why this does not cut perfectly straight? Because it has a certain space where the beam is going to be focused. Beyond that point, it's not going to cut perfectly straight. And what's going to happen is that if you have a sign like this, since the cut is not 90 degree perfect, it might tip over on either side. So, the best solution for that problem if you're having that is using a 75 millimeter lens. I'm going to do a couple of cuts right now. I'm going to compare how it cuts with a 50 millimeter lens and how it cuts with a 75 millimeter lens just to have a better idea and understanding of what I'm talking about. Okay, I'm doing the cut right now with a 50 millimeter lens. As I was explaining, that is a 50 millimeter and this is a 75 millimeter lens inside of this pen that has an extension in between the pen and the nozzle, okay? It's easy to recognize because it has that extension that allows more spacing in there. Now, you're gonna notice that even using the same power and same speed and everything, it'll cut better with the 75 millimeter lens when it is a thick material. Almost done. Now, I'm not going to move the piece, I'm just going to set another letter A on the side of the first one, but of course I have to change the pen. So let me write down here so we don't lose track of this. This is a 50 millimeter one, okay? Then I'm going to do the second one, I'll be right back. Okay, I have removed the 50 millimeter laser pen. Now I have the 75 in place. Piece of advice guys, turn the chiller off before you can remove those hoses, otherwise you're gonna have a lot of water on it. Happened to me right now. Anyway, I'm ready to send the job with the same letter A, with same settings, same power, same speed, it's just that I'm gonna have that lens in there, okay? There we go. I have it upside down by the way so I can fit better in that space. And the wood that I'm using is poplar. I found out that it's a very soft wood and it cuts much easier than most of the other ones of the same thickness. So I really like to use that, that particular wood. It's poplar, I got it at the Home Depot and it's half inch thick. It's uh, about 50% done. I'm using a 75 millimeter lens on this one. And then we're gonna see how they stand, uh, which one stands better.
There we go. Let's see, I'm gonna write down on this wall. Just better put it right here first. You see, that one just fell down. So out of it. This is cut with a 75 millimeter lens. Okay. There you go. Now this one. Oh, there you go. Enough also. Not that difficult. Okay, let's see. Of course, it's not too tall, so. Ah, none of them are falling. That's good. Am, am I too good or what? Well, this is what happened, guys. When cutting this and making a little tall signs, you're gonna find out that, yeah, it actually, this tips over easily than the other one. Oh, that's strong. There you go. What I can tell right now is that this one still has a little spikes, little things in there versus this one that came out just perfect. Okay, I'm gonna cut a larger sign right now and then uh, we're gonna see how that uh, stands up. But for what I see, this one is still, still good. Not as bad as I thought. But again, when it's taller letters or so, yes, it's definitely a problem. There we go. This is a welcome sign that I'm cutting out of a poplar wood. It's a half inch thick. <clears throat> and we'll see. Hopefully it does not smoke too much. Oh, it is. Oh well. That's better. Um, something that I almost forget to mention is that this particular lens, the 50 millimeter lens, has to be spaced out 8 millimeters from the nozzle to the surface of the material versus the 6 millimeters that the other lens, the 50 millimeter lens, has to be spaced out at. That's because obviously the, the focal distance is different between these two lenses. Although the first um, test that we didn't really show the effect that I wanted to, I'm still more likely to cut any thick wood with this uh, 75 millimeter lens. Probably uh, on that particular area my machine is very well calibrated, but it might not be the same in you know, the full size of the table, so why would I risk? I I'd rather to have that 75 millimeter lens. You see how uh, how nicely the, the the cuts just fall down. Hey guys, by the way, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share, please. And of course, if you have comments, suggestions, uh, let me know in the comments down below. Oh. I think I, I, I was just following the <laughs> following the cuts and I forgot I was also filming. But it's just cutting nicely. Cutting very nice. I wonder if I've used too much power because sometimes I can see at the bottom so how the laser um, still goes down. In a future video I'm going to talk about um, when cutting with a more powerful air compressor. That's especially helpful if you're cutting really thick wood. And also, if you're cutting uh, thick stuff like two inches or so, um, that'll also help. But definitely, you will need a different type of lens. This is a 75 millimeter lens. You probably are, uh, are gonna need a uh, 100 millimeter lens or a 125 millimeter lens.
I I think my blower is not doing a very good job. Look at all that smoke. I mean, it is sucking, but probably I have to clean it or something. I'll take a look later. Almost done. He's doing a nice cut, nice job. And um, since I'm using the three parts, uh, it's not gonna have that many marks on the back of the material. When using the honeycomb, uh, there's more marks in the back because the laser hits the metal and reflects it back into the material. I could even reduce the number of parts that I have right now. Um, if I want to, you know, cut acrylic or something where I don't need, uh, I don't want any uh, marks at all in the back. There you go. Let's see. It's just too big and I think I need both hands. Oh, maybe not. Maybe I do need both hands. There you go. Nice. Okay guys, that's been all for today. I hope you have enjoyed this video and don't forget to like, subscribe and share. And if you have questions, suggestions, or concerns, just let me know in the comments below, okay? Take care. Bye.